through it all, hanging over me like a black cloud, was Rourke. He destroyed an oil platform, lured away an entire fleet, sunk a destroyer, and I was still wondering one thing. Where's Rourke? Here? Ahead of us? Waiting? Is that good? Ghost. What happened to him? There was something in that factory. Something the Federation never wanted us to see. And we were about to find out exactly what it was. Aw, oh, snap. Alright, so we're getting down to the end of it. This mission is actually called End of the Line. So... I'm suspecting this is either the last mission or the second to last mission. Either way, I'm in the jungle with Merrick. Got it. Apparently I'm about to stab some bro in his unfortunate chest. Oh yeah, you guys are dead as hell. Yeah, they're down. You just dropped on them with a knife. Maybe a little excessive, but what are the ghosts if not excessive? See, there they are. All right. Well. Mine or theirs? I don't. <laughs> oh, dude, you picked the wrong time to make a phone call. Tell your mama said hi. Let's move. Can't fly on perimeter and security. Nothing and no one gets through, and no one gets out either. Everyone else, we're moving left to infill and then to black zone. No, but seriously, where did Kick come from, guys? Because I don't know who he is. Can we trust him? I guess we can trust him because you're letting him go off on his own. Wouldn't be the first time there'd be a betrayal in this series, though. Logan, we're on you. I always, I always like just watching what these scripted events are gonna do and how long they can go for. Grabbing his security badge. Got one. On the door. You know, if this is indeed the last or second to last mission, not much has happened in the way of. in the way of typical Call of Duty fanfare where, you know, somebody usually by this time would have betrayed us, somebody would have died by now, or at least got their, like, half of their face shot off, or the arm broken, or something, you know, nope, I guess, I guess the black dude in the beginning of the game did die, but you never even met him, really. They usually like to kill off at least one guy of the main cast. None of that has happened yet, I'm suspecting it's gonna be Hesh right here. Because he's your brother, it's just perfectly set up. Or Riley, Riley, Riley hasn't been in the uh, in the game for about like five episodes now. What is up with that? You promised me Call of Dog, and I have only gotten. How did seriously, guys? How did you not hear this? Bam, bam. There's Hash. I've said this before, but silencers aren't that effective. They don't make it so you can't hear the bullet when you're four feet away from it. Are we going through this? No. Uh, where are we going? Hash. Let me, uh, click this button. Nothing. Alright, well... I'm lost. I am lost. We'll go up here? That's where we came from, right? I can't open doors by myself, so I don't even see the point of trying. Can't go past Keegan. Somebody, give me directions. Tell me what to do. Uh, am I going this way? There's nothing over here. Maybe there's a Rorg file. I I have not found a single Rorg file over this entire playthrough, have I? That's kind of embarrassing. What's also kind of embarrassing is that I absolutely have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I don't know, like... I have a little heater there. It must be cold. Uh, Merrick? Wanna tell me anything? No? Usually they give me some kind of directive by now when I'm running around like a flailing idiot with my head cut off. In here? 
Oh, in the control room. Okay, I just had to run around a little bit. This seems to be the place. Whoa, gunshots. GKIA, right clear. Okay. Ah, skip the defense. Oh, alright, so I had to run through there. I apparently went the wrong way. Am I still something? Did I mess something else up? What is this? Do I have to go in there now? Alright. Trigger your scripting? No. Well then, this is a unfortunate this is an unfortunate roadblock in what has otherwise been a pretty smooth going series. Haven't run into too many of the technical issues, but this is really annoying. Do I have to press something up here? Guys, give me a sign. Anything. Okay, that didn't work. Don't know why it would. Can't go through there because the doors are locked. Right. Do I have to trigger the scripting right here? Oh, this is annoying. Alright, well, I'm going to say this so that I remember it when I listen back. I might just cut this part out. Probably should because it is a bunch of me running around trying to figure out what exactly I need to flip. Alright, so apparently I did just mess up the uh, sequence triggering and I went the wrong way and it just completely broke the game, so that's unfortunate. I had to restart the entire mission from the beginning, which thankfully was not, oh, let's not whip out my pistol, which thankfully was not that long of a mission to have to redo, but yeah, I completely just screwed up the scripting and it wouldn't let me proceed forward because I didn't go, oh my god, what is happening? Let me just give the game a chance to get itself together. Yeah, apparently the scripting got messed up, so that's what happened. But we're back now, back to, you know, joyous murder and everything that we love about Call of Duty. In a nutshell. We're seeing what looks like rocket components. Solid copy, continue searching. I'm probably not supposed to be up in the front because I can't open doors. Roger. Bingo. Shit. Looks like some kind of satellite. With a hell of a weapons package. Scarecrow, we found it. Looks like space-based weaponry. Copy, actual. Hyperfeed for identification. Logan, get your eyes patched in. Hesh, you too. Keegan, get the main heat shield open. Okay. Visual feed is up. You're coming in clear. Roger that, Scarecrow. Send your traffic. Give us a look at the main unit. Right there, that's it. It's a kinetic rod delivery system. Like the ones that took out San Diego. Yeah. These are smaller, but there's a lot more of them. Definitely based on our Odin design. We need to find out how many they've built. Good work, boys. This was a big find. Spark light, entire wing confirmed for bombing run. Total coverage is go for effect. Drop everything. Let's move. Copy, Scarecrow. Tennis is confirmed. Eight clicks out, six minutes en route for full effect. Arclight 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, and 1-3. Target Romeo and Birdhouse. Arclight 2-1, two, 2-2, one, two, two, and 2-3. Two, Target Cooper, Dixie, and Tango. Pattern bombing, absolute coverage. <laughs> Beric, find any data that can give us a bigger picture of their progress. Then get out of there. You have an entire air wing en route to level the whole complex. Copy that. Kick, you got that? Arclight's en route. This entire factory's gonna disappear very soon. Copy. Okay, so Kick is definitely going to be the dude who's going to get killed. He's going to get left behind in this explosion. And this is pretty cool. This is the Sovereign multiplayer map. I always appreciate when first-person shooters or, you know, any multiplayer game pulls their multiplayer maps from Call... Or, not from Call of Duty, from their campaign. Satellite's label is 24. From the Good thing I just carry my hard drive everywhere I go. There's encrypted data here. Here to be launch events, dates, predictions. I don't understand. Mary, we've got these? movement out here. Lots of it. Grab the data and get out of there now. Nope. Okay. Ooh. 
Too bad you guys don't get slow-mo, otherwise you would have had an actual advantage there. Hold this position? No, we do not want to be here. This is like the last place you want to be. Hey, you guys can do that. Do we have thermal? Yes. Alright, you're already ahead of me. You, you, how immense is this smoke? Hope this doesn't hit me. Okay, it didn't. This guy with the riot shield. Didn't help him too much, though. Dude, this must have been some crazy smoke that we put out. Yeah? Damn. That's... Flashbang, I can do that. Oh. Whoa! Oh, no, no. I'm gonna die. No, okay, apparently that was a friendly grenade or something. Thanks for telling me that now, Merrick. Do I want a riot shield? Not really. I'll just take this then. The game's getting pretty framey for some reason, and I don't know why. It's interesting that we have uh, flashbangs in the campaign, and there are nine bangs in the multiplayer. I don't know which ones are actually more effective in real life, but it's just interesting that they would have two different kinds. Oh, that's... <laughs> I definitely just shot Ash in the chest, like, three times. He's fine. All you have to do is be an NPC. I like this gun. What is it? SA-805. I think that's the gun that I use in multiplayer, too. I haven't played the multiplayer in this game forever. I enjoyed it, though. I definitely enjoyed it. It was pretty... Is that a friendly helicopter? Alright, that was a, that is not a friendly helicopter, apparently. That was one moment where I actually felt like part of a team and kind of a badass. Like, one, two, three, and then I was the guy who opened fire on everybody. Didn't plan on it. Somebody behind me? Keegan. What's up, bruh? Yeah, you can uh, sit down. Oh! Yeah, right. Forgot. The butt of a gun is 20 times stronger than any bullet could ever hope to be. So I guess we'll get to relive my badass experience again. Let's not go up that way this time. Let's go this way. Oh, that was a mistake, too. Who? Oh, that guy. He was still alive. That's not fair. I don't get to go in the last stand. Okay, yeah, I don't know what's going on with these frames, but, uh, they keep on dropping themselves. Hide behind here, let our jelly clear off our screen. I might try using this. You know, if this is indeed close to the end of the game, I might play some multiplayer after I finish this recording session. This is indeed a recording session. I've just recorded the past three episodes in a row, and I might just record the rest of the game until I beat it. Holy crap, son. This is not even fair or realistic. Why are these guys so bad at being an army? No, don't leave me. Damn. 
danger close much? Jeez. Holy crap! This is Explosion City! Population the ghost! Oh my god! This is craziness! Oh, hey, Kick is driving. He made it out. From the sounds of that, this was not the last mission. <laughs> so, I'm gonna assume that there's more, but I will see you guys in the next episode.